Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video and today we will be taking it up a little bit different and playing with Irelia this time trying to go up against Zed. Um, I just recently uh, beat Ezra with her and so I think her best one is Challenger just because you can pull in whatever you want and take dam uh, take care of that person instead. So I think we're going to stick with that Challenger for now um, and we're going to go ahead and just play see if we can outpace the Zed. Uh, just like last time, I wanted to know like how, what is a good thing on, um, what's a good way to kind of keep these videos a little bit interesting. And I kind of like the idea of just kind of having a question of the day. Um, I don't really have a question for today, so I want to give you guys an update on my job and why I kind of want to quit, you know? Um, so I think the main issue with uh, my job is just availability. Most of my projects are closing out and that causes me to have a little bit more of like a, I don't know what I wanna do. I just wanna, I just wanna teach, right? That's that's my main thing, I just wanna teach. Um, and as, as a teacher, if I'm not really doing that kind of job, I honestly am so bored of the job. Um, and so I went to go ask one of my managers like, hey, how do I quit? Because this would be the first time that I ever quit. I've never done it before. And I don't know what I what I want to do. Um, and she just let me know. She, she was like, hold up. This is going to deal four. He can block and deal one. Yes. I had no idea what to what to how to do it. How do I quit? And I don't think anyone tells you, at least from what I know. You just tell them you want to leave. You can make them just sign up or, or there's going to be like a paper that you just sign and now you just officially quit. Um, I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, but I had no idea. You can kind of just walk out if you really just didn't like the job. I just never really thought I could do that. Uh, until I went to the meeting and I told them like I don't really like working here anymore um, it's not fulfilling the things I want to do it's really really boring and she's like okay yeah I can see why you quit I'm like how do I do that and she just said hey how to just do it which is a little strange for me to just hear uh, let me see I can block this or I can take two damage. I don't think we're ever going to be using these disciplines. Um, so we are going to get rid of this flawless duet, but we will go for a straight attack, which I kind of like. Oh, I should have taken the damage, done the flawless duet, and then life steal it back. That was my fault. Um, and they can always get. I think it's fine to get this to have a plus one. I think I think this is good. But yeah, she just let me know. She's like, bro, you can just go. And that just shocked me so much. I'm like, what, what do you mean just go? She's like, yeah, you can leave whenever you like. Everyone, let me know in the comments. Would you guys quit? <laughs> Yeah, but outside of that, I mean, this so far is a pretty simple, um, just pretty simple, uh, I guess, lecture here or uh, not lecture, uh, battle here. Um, you could kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sure that their things, even if they block, aren't necessarily um, able to rebuild back their board. And the cool thing is when they recall Irelia because I have enough. I can always just resummon her, which I love. How much does she have? Seven. Ooh. Oh, they 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 keep on going. Okay, so if I pull this, then that dies. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So I think we're gonna do something like. like this she has to block this and this becomes oh actually hold up let's let's buff it up a little bit more let's buff this guy up a little bit more and now it's a good game 
Because now I can do this. Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. The good thing about blade dancing against the computer is they tend to try to block it, which means they get these things reduced, um, which I think is pretty fun. Um, you get to just kind of see their things kind of whittle out. You see, even though he blocked and he killed my unit, he's now a 1-4. And what's he going to do with a 1-4, right? Definitely going to keep these two. I want to go uh, drop to the Green Glade duo and then the Ribbon Dancer. Uh, so this is going to be... Oh, now I kind of want to summon this. We'll see what they summon. I'll use this defensively if I have to. It's dangerous out there. Take Ooh. This. All they can do is block with this. So I think the best thing that I want to do is actually play with this. And I'm going to take it. Because now I know I can actually gain life with this. Because it has that support lifesteal guy. And what I want to do is actually just go for some... Um, for some elusives. Bam, bam. Get those flash bombs in there because it hits them. And it will lower their um, attack. And I can always use them as chump blockers. See, she's a 3-3 again. And I think now I'm going to start using this as a way to weaken them. Or just to, to deal damage. And check this out. And they're, they definitely have to block with this guy. They're not on a block with a 3-6. Damn. Okay. So we're definitely... Actually, what we want to do is we're not going to use this too much. And we want to get rid of these guys as much as possible. I can even make this a 4... Uh, no, we're just going to get rid of these guys. We'll take four. Especially now that I see we got the Herald of Spring here. We can do this into this and do the the blade dance. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to summon this. Watch out for their spells. Perfect. Go into this. Going to flawless duet to see if they have anything to stop this. Brings my attackers to six. Oh yeah. And check that out. Now she's a two, two. Right. And we're even going to do this. Um, we want to get rid of this, don't we? This is a three, two and it can block here. That means I only get to drain one time. Um, but I think that's fine. I don't, I don't see myself, um, necessarily running out of resources now they only have nine left they can easily get a flash bomb and weaken this as well but they don't okay um i'm gonna keep these just to make sure that these stay safe now i'm gonna take a little i'm gonna take three with this now i'm gonna take five I kind of need this to survive. So I think I can do this into this into this. That's okay. We're actually going to stop this and this. And I'm actually also going to stop this from dying. So that way we can have more flash bombs in there to hopefully stall out for my other goat dude. Yeah, and at the end of the day, she can always uh, just use the blade dance, right? Check this out. See? 1103. Perfect. Um, I think we want to go 1, 2. She's got 5. Then we're going to do this to hopefully get this to block or the 0, 3 to block. Perfect. Now she's a 5-5. Five, five. She's got the challenger. Okay, that I think that's totally okay. Um, I know that she'll become a 6-5, but um, check this out. Right, she's now a 2-1. One. 1-1 one, one actually. And now we can actually attack with this very freely. 
it, now it's a basically a chump blocker. And we win with this. Right? Like I said, we're all rushing down. Uh, honestly, I could have played a little better to preserve uh, my Herald of Spring. Uh, but he's not a lifesteal himself, so I rather would have gotten the support than, you know, maybe not have... If they would have attacked with the other guy, I would have to block with him, so yeah. Um, and we actually want to summon this on the 2-drop. So on the 3, it gets stunned. Um, and, and that way I can continuously use the Sting Officer to actually attack. I think that's what we want to do. I got nothing for a 1-drop, so that's fine. Let's see. Summon a two drop. Um, I honestly want to kill this droplet. It gets draws. It's very strong. Um, I think I think it's worth killing that elusive. Do we go one into two? Yes, summon that because I can use twin disciplines if he goes for the attack. Um, I'm actually just gonna pass. Okay, now we can summon the sparring student. Into the Irelia. Blade dance and get this to be higher. Check it out of 4-6. This guy's now a zero. With draws it, which is totally fine. And what I actually want to do is get rid of this because if they stun it, this stays alive. And I want this to try and block this and kill it. So I want to pull in the dumb unit. Yeah, see? So he just took four for no reason. I think that's totally fine. We can even summon this elusive if he wants to block. We can do that. That's fine. One hundred percent okay. All right, I'm gonna do this to hopefully pull a good poro. Perfect. I can do this, and I can do this. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect poro. I actually wanted to get elusive so that way this could be a 2 1, but yeah, that's okay. Um, I wanted an elusive so that way this guy could be chump locked without my dude, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I actually want to do this because it's fast, it's burst speed basically, blade dancing. Um, and now they have to take that 4. Then I blade dance once again. That's 10. And oh, we won't. We'll have eleven. But I do want to pull this because if they stun this, then they're taking twelve, basically, right? So let's see if they have a stun spell. They do. Um, but I think we win if we just. I'm thinking if they bounce back, or if they stun, it's okay to stun this one. I want to spread the damage to be 7-7 seven, seven on each. Okay, there we go. That's game. Bam, bam. Ooh, 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 ooh. See, and we have a 5-5, five, five, so she can't fully block uh, when she summons Fiora. Uh, my only bad part is um, she summons her at 3, actually. So we're, we're going to have to play a little strategic against Fiora. Gonna summon the pharaohs and <sighs> glorious evolution recall. I think recalling is good for the Zed, but I think dawn and dusk. Look, summon. I don't know, like on five, right? Um, I have her on the field. Then I use this, um, and then I just plant so many flash bombs that could be good. Glorious evolution, like. I feel like almost instant wins, but I think we're going to get the faster card. 
and then because it has quick attack if they try to block they die right and so now i'm just waiting on this girl because there's got to be something i can do to her i think we want to weaken her with a blade dance because she's probably going to want to block right oh no okay okay so this is going to deal She's gonna be a 5-3. If I add two more, um, I'd rather save it just in case they do something with the Caitlyn. I think I'm gonna let her kill it. And then I'll go strong on the four. Because we can do this into this into maybe this. We could even use this to pull something in. Yeah. Um, we're gonna attack with this to make it a 6-5. They have something to block. If not, then... Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, we don't want to summon a Poro because she'll pull it in. So I'm just hoping she... They have something crazy with her. See, Dawn and Dusk next turn would be really good. Um... We're gonna pass. Oh, uh, I think putting a ribbon dancer is good. Oh, perfect, perfect. Do I use this? Yeah, because this gives me challenger, so I think. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Alright, we got one Fiora out. I think they get three Fioras in the deck. Gosh, it's a five now. Darn. Uh, we're gonna do this. Put the little Poro here. Ooh. If they don't have Fiora, this is good. These are chump blockers, and I actually want them to die before they hit Fiora, so I think that's fine. You see, now they're one ones. I think this is perfect. Flash bombs? No flash bombs. Okay. Um, we can go dawn and dusk now. And really push for a lot of damage. I think this is actually the right choice. Because next turn, I can use this and kind of block. I'm um, actually going to summon a lot of things here. Uh, just to block for next turn. Next turn, I have seven. So let's see, six. Right now, I can have nine, which could be... No. No, I'm just going to use them to chump block next turn. And we're going to attack with these three. Alright, let's go. Who's blocking? How many flash bombs am I throwing in there? Two, four, six. So they have eight flash bombs uh, in the top eight cards. So on average, they should draw at least one flash bomb next turn. Yeah, they should. And they only have 12 cards, so it's starting to get a little packed for them. Yep, perfect. See, they drew one. That's a 5 4. We can, um. She can pull this in or this in. Um. Uh, I think it's good to use this and just get rid of them. We'll, we'll see how they pull. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. It feels perfect. I think we want to just do this and get rid of all their stuff. And then we can use this with her to kind of uh, buff things up. And she's left with only Fiora to take the force of 10 flash bombs in the top 8. So she should draw about 1 to 1 1.2. Um, there's some older flash bombs. So hopefully she gets 2. She should get 2 on average. Oh, that was a good. Okay. Um, we can activate the flash bombs actually, and that will kill her for sure. Nine. Oh my, nine! Jeez, that was good. That was a really good turn. Okay, that's fine. Kind of didn't need her. Is that a 4-4? Four, four? 
And just to get rid of him without me needing lifesteal, since I don't need lifesteal, I'm going to actually just attack this way. I don't need lifesteal because if I beat Fiora, I go back to full, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I actually want to summon something. Just to start kind of dealing that damage. And then I'll open attack. I want to keep her because she's a 1-1 one, one and I don't want her to be, be pulled by the Fiora. Um, this is going to be 6, 9, 12. Not that much, honestly. She can get a Fiora, so I think... I think it's fine. We'll play kind of smooth for now. They gotta start summoning stuff. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, drawing. Drawing is really good. Perfect. That's why that's kind of why I wanted Pharaohs. One, two, three. Perfect. Nice. Nice, a one one. Can get this dude, but. Ooh, okay. But what will you do if I blade dance two? Nice, the nine now. And I feel safe enough to now start putting my weaker units. Yeah, something like this. So what we will do Summon this, into this, into this, into this, into this. All right, let's go. And like that, you beat Fiora, you rush her down. That blade dance, trying to block my blade dance into my twin disciplines was a really good job. Perfect. We're going to keep them, and then we'll have the flexibility to use which one. Okay, perfect. We drew a mystic shot. That's great. Uh, we got a pass here. And we can actually start using just the blade dance to start getting like a lot of hits. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so even if they want to block, I can use this. Oh, yeah. You want to block with your barrier? Nope. And I'm, I'm more than happy to take four damage here. Totally fine with me. In fact, I think I want to put down the Caitlyn right now start putting a little flash bombs in there um and we want to use this as a chump blocker so we're, we're gonna want to keep that in the back yep they're three two for some reason they're not attacking with their three two so they'll just start bleeding and with luck the flash bombs will kind of weaken it before they even try to do something with it uh, that's fine with me. We'll see what they get. Okay, perfect. This does two, which will bring this down to three attack. Uh, so we don't want to put this down right now. I think we want to blade dance just so we can possibly weaken them. Are they going to block? No, man. This AI is crazy. Uh, I think I want to get obliterate an enemy unit because they have that one six cost card or now it's a four cost, but it's like heal and double their attack and health. And we want to use this to counteract that. Remember, it's four health now. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to put it on her um, and we want to keep this open. So what we, we might want to do is just go for the attack. Wait for them to activate that four cost and then obliterate the, the unit. Okay, perfect, perfect. They decided not to use it. They summon a contain. And I think what we can do is do this to blade dance another two. And now the pressure is coming through. Yeah, now that now they're now they got a block. Cause look at them, right? They're, Look at their life drain. Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, see? And the flash bombs are coming through. That's a 6-6. Six, six. That's fine. We have enough for this. 
So I think we're gonna start summoning a few more chump blockers. It's not that I don't really care about this, but I think we're gonna wanna do something like this. I think we do want to kill this right now. Hmm. Um, the moon silver just to get this to be five cost, I think, is a little nicer. We're gonna summon the Irelia, and we're gonna see what they do with this. Ooh, ooh, a three-three. So here's the thing, I'm going to summon this. If they use that one thing that doubles this attack, I can use the Moon Silver into the Falling Comet and actually obliterate it. Because now I can actually make it. Yes! Oh, it's going to plan, it's going to plan. Yep, we're going to resolve this. So now I can use the Blade Dance, but we're going to get rid of this 1224. Right? And I think we know what's worse. I think it's worth getting rid of their 1224. <laughs> See, and now we can do something like this. Oh, my shirt's a little up. I am. We're completely outpacing this. Oh, we, we, oh, oh, we did like 30 damage. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh with this ability is pretty good so i think we are going to get rid of the sting officer hopefully get something else oh <laughs> we literally got these okay okay oh perfect perfect what do you call that technique? check this out ready a zero relia in full force don't give me the sting officer perfect unlimited blade dances And a 4-6. They gotta summon that guy. And we're going straight. They gotta block my 5-6. It's my 6-7, sorry. And every turn, it only gets deadlier with my Blade Dancers. Because so now I have 3, I can use this. Oh my. Oh. Uh, we'll summon him after. I just don't want to summon him and then I'm forced to trade with this guy. Uh, so I'm going to summon him now. And just unlimited blade dances, my boy. And in fact, I'm going to attack with a few of them. Ooh, ooh. Damn. Are we gonna go for a perfect game here? God damn. Yeah, I, th I think we just won. Oh my gosh, this was so fast. Turn four. Wow, turn four kill. Wow, oh my gosh. That was so insanely good. Oh. Okay, homecoming is insanely good. We're gonna keep this, um, and we're gonna get rid of the young witch for now. We don't need her now, we need her a little later in the game. Oh, perfect, blade dancer, blade dancer. Okay, we got a good two, three, and then like four or five drop here. That's fine. They basically have the same deck I do, uh, except I have a zero Aurelia on my side. So they're taking five, eight, uh, seven damage. Which is okay. Now they gotta. Now we put the. Actually, do we put the pressure with this? They can't block with this, so I think. Is it worth passing? They're gonna do a four. We do get something stunned, so I think we're gonna wait. Okay, uh, I think that's fine. And the reason why is I want this Ribbon Dancer to see if we can get them to block. If they don't block, then it wasn't going to matter. You know, at the end of the day. Um, I think that's fine. 
Yeah, I want to use this to block here. Strange thing to use it there, huh? Um, interesting. I think we might. Oh, do we want to use a homecoming on a on this? I can summon a blade dancer. Yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna use this homecoming on Zed. We don't want Zed here. Um, do we want to block these or do we want to block this guy? No, I think that's just the best course of action. Taking eight. And I want to save this for... Actually, I feel like I have a good plan for Zed. So let's take a little less damage right now. I think it's just worth taking a little less damage. Oh, homecomings are coming in clutch. Okay. Irelia. We summon the Zed. Do they block these blade dances? Because now they're going kind of crazy. Perfect, perfect. And I definitely want to get rid of this guy. Yeah, that's the best thing they can do for six. They just virtually can't use that. Ooh, that would have been crazy if I did this. <laughs> and we're gonna use this to maybe bounce this back. Oh no, we're gonna bounce this back. Um, yeah. We just don't want her. We don't want him to attack either. We can use her to blade dance even more. I think it's just worth it. Oh, okay, finally, fine. She's she's out of there. She's out of there. Okay, we can do six, seven. But this does the same thing as blade dancing too. So I think I'm gonna use her till next turn. I'm gonna burst speed. Attack. Bam, bam. All right, now they gotta start blocking. Because they are bleeding through their lives. How much do we have now? 14? Does this get us to 14? It does. Okay, so whatever they block, we can use a Irelia now. And we can actually... Um, here's one cool thing that we can do if they, don't, if they decide to block. Perfect. Is we can swap with a Sand Soldier. So that way we can keep the Sand Soldier to attack even stronger in this next one and what i want to do is i want to get rid of this and now they're forced to block these two because they deal an extra damage that they don't want um yeah there we go we took a lot of damage, but now we're getting our momentum up, and now it's looking good. We can always use the Hex Tech if we need a 2-drop to, to go away, you know? Right, that's fine. We can use this and use Homecoming to bring it back if we really wanted to. Even if we summon this, we have enough for a Homecoming, so I think it's I'm comfortable using it. If they try to block, then I can use Irelia. I should don't mind that they block here. Yeah, it's fine. And just like that, we win Zed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Should I BM? Ooh, I'm winning with the blade dances. That yeah, feels like a chump way to win. Which is why I'm doing it. Fly 
I think your guide for these kind of things is, uh, first of all, Irelia, get her the challenger because you get to challenge things. And like I said, an S tier thing is that enfeebling strike, especially for Irelia, uh, Misfortune, Caitlyn, I guess Jinx. But this challenger is really, really good. Um, maybe even refilling your spell mana might be good if when you get that second ability. Let's say that you're having trouble with Zed and you need that second ability. Having challenger with refilling your spell mana guarantees blade dances every turn. You can use your mana as you see fit since you know you'll always have a full set of mana as fast as possible. But this was a great opportunity we're doing a fantastic job. I can't wait for more lands to be open, for each person to not just have the same attacks. That's coming really close. We're so, so close to being there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you guys next time. Peace.